And once again, there is a chance. The winner could sit at the top of that final poll and once again win the right to play in the Rose Bowl. And over the last five years, the history is remarkable in this series. Michigan has won 48 games, lost seven, tied one. Ohio State has won 42, lost eight, and tied one. And the Ohio State Buckeyes offensively along the front will look like this. As the Buckeyes have won the toss and will receive, it'll be 80 France, 72 Schumacher, who's back in good form and one of the great offensive tackles in the country. 60 is Smith, Myers 52 in the middle. Myers uh, having come off a broken hand. Uh, Richard Mack, uh, 69, will be on the right side of the center. 73 is Danley and 82 is Dave Hazel. So the Ohio State Buckeyes will receive the kickoff from the uh, Michigan Wolverines in the backfield. Cornelius Green, number seven, Archie Griffin, 45, Champ Henson, 38, and Brian Bashnego will be 48. The temperature nearing 60 degrees. It is a clear sky, an incredible day in this time of the year. And the ball game is on. The 71st meeting between Ohio State and Michigan. It is Wills at the three-yard line. Downfield coverage is very good by Michigan. And they get him at about the 13-yard line. So the white plant Wolverines come downfield in a hurry. And Joe Paterno, this has been one of the trademarks of this Michigan team. Good that, kick coverage. Yeah, that was a great kick uh, coverage uh, situation. And now Ohio State's got a long way to go. And we'll find out now whether they can dominate the line of scrimmages. They, they have done in just about every game that they've started with the football. Cornelius Green is the quarterback as they work off the I formation with Bashnagel, the wing back, and Green rolls. He wants to throw. He puts it up. It is almost intercepted. Mm. The pass was very badly thrown, and Tom Drake, number 28, had his hands on the ball at the 22-yard line. It is third down and 11 yards to go. They draw the ball, and there is no room for Archie Griffin. He's decked behind the line of scrimmage, back at the 8-yard line. And so the Michigan defense... Ball carrier was number 33, Pete Johnson, not Archie Griffin. Michigan figures to get the football in good field position as Ohio State is going to have to go to the punt and kick it out of the end zone. And it'll be Tom Skladany doing the punting number one. Tom Skladany was drafted in the second round of the 1977 NFL Draft, which is very early for a kicker. Here are some other notable Buckeyes who were drafted. And it rolls dead at the Michigan 47-yard line. 44 yards on the punt. And Michigan gets the ball almost in the middle of the field. And along the front for Michigan. They'll line up this way. 37 is Smith at split in. King is 67. Lewis 74. Dennis Franks number 50 in the middle at center. Armour 58. Tom Payne 64. The tight end is Denmore 84. And the Michigan backfield. Dennis Franklin at quarterback. He says he feels pretty good, but the ankle has to be sore. Bell the tailback, he to the fullback, chap from the wingback, it goes to Gordon Bell. He's in Ohio State territory. From his own 47-yard line, he takes it to the 40, close to the 48-yard line. The Wolverines have won all 10 ball games. They've had to struggle in a couple of them. The Illini, as you can see, gave them a hard time, but last week we saw them against Purdue, and they were magnificent. This is the first of two games to be seen on most of these ABC stations today at 4 Eastern time. The other half of the Rose Bowl battle between USC and UCLA is Franklin sets the throw. He goes to Chapman. He's got him open. Chapman is loose, running for a flag. Touchdown! Keith, that was a, a great play fake by Franklin, and, and uh, Chapman came across from the slot position and just found an opening spot in there, and, and uh, Franklin just put it right on the button. That was a great, great football play. Bill Chapman led Michigan with 23 catches in 1974 after rushing for 542 yards and six touchdowns as a running back in 1973. Left foot it through there. As you see his Chapman, now they're faking away from Chapman. Now he just works in that open area, gets the ball, makes the man miss him, makes a beautiful cut on that nice downfield block by the tight end. And he sets a little bit deeper off the eye than some of the teams. That gives him a chance to read. Green turns. He keeps it this time. Green coming around the corner. He's down at the 42-yard line before he is rolled out by number 81, Jillick of Michigan.
fullback Pete Johnson was a sophomore in 74, and he displays a devastating block here. He just drives the guy right into the turf. It is second down and six for Ohio State from the Michigan 42. Michigan leading it seven to nothing. With 11 minutes to play in the first quarter, it goes to Pete Johnson, number 33, in at fullback, a 246-pound sophomore. 1975 and 1976, Pete Johnson in his 246-pound frame was a touchdown machine. He scored 45 touchdowns in 24 games, almost two touchdowns every game. Third down and two from the 38. The ball goes to the fullback, Pete Johnson. He is a big, powerful youngster, and he's inside the 35 to the 33. He's got an Ohio State first down. Ohio State's record, 9-1. and one. They clobbered most everybody except Michigan State. The ball is at the 33-yard line. It goes to Archie Griffin. He skips away from one, but good pursuit. Number 56 for Michigan is middle guard Tim Davis, who was in on this tackle. He only weighed 210 pounds. Second down and nine yards to go from the 32-yard line. Green keeps the ball after a fake to Griffin. Fumble! That's Michigan recovers it. But in Smith wide to the left side. Franklin turns, gives to Bell. Big hole up the middle for Gordon Bell. So far, they are trailing 7-0 with 8.45 to go in the first quarter as Franklin gives the ball to Bell. You notice the quickness, and he pops out of there, and he goes for another first down. Third down, a half yard to go for the first down. They give the ball to Heater, the fullback. Chapman leaves. They've gone for the big guys. They're going to go on the ground for it. Here's the pitch outside to Bell. Got the first down. He's inside the 25. He's at the 22-yard line before Tim Fox and Doug Plank can bring him down. Running backs like number five Gordon Bell got most of the glory, but it's due to the terrific offensive line play like this from center Dennis Franks. Just look at that. Beautiful. Second time, they fumbled it on the 26th of Michigan. Franklin back to throw. He gets it off. He goes for Smith. He missed it. Good defense by Neil Colsey. Neil Colsey was drafted in the first round by the Raiders in 1975. In 1977, he was offered $5,000 to play a Pittsburgh Steelers player in the movie entitled Black Sunday. It seems reasonable that he turned down that role. Third down. And about eight yards to go, Dennis Franklin goes to throw again. Better protection, gets it off, intended into the end zone for the tight end, Greg Dinbor, from 37 yards. 37-yard effort, he'll kick it from the 27, 10 yards in the end zone. Mike Lantry, ball is down out of Tom Drake's hole, it is up. It is good. A 37-yard field goal by Mike Landry. And with 4 minutes and 57 seconds to play in the first quarter, Michigan leads Ohio State 10 to nothing. Hazel, way wide to the left side. As Green sets, throws quickly, pass is caught by Doug France, number 80, the tight end. And the Buckeyes have a first down out at the 40. A gain of 14 yards on the play. So let's call it the 40, just outside the 40. First down, Buckeyes. Fashnagel again, in motion. It's Griffin. And Archie Griffin is caught by Dave Brown, number six, and dragged down as he moves the football for eight yards from the 40 to the 48. Brought down by Brown, but the hole opened on that right side, and Archie almost popped out of there for Ohio State. As Green pitches the ball to Griffin, big hole right side. Griffin is down to the 30-yard line. Dave Brown came up from the secondary to make the stop. Third down and about 14 yards to go as Cornelius Green gets outside. He's got one blocker, but he gets it back down to about the 30-yard line. Tom Clavin, number six, is in the lineup. He will try a field goal. He will hit the football from, the, say, the 37-yard line. That is a 47-yard field goal try. He's kicked four out of six this year. Ohio State scoreless in the first quarter. Bad snap. It comes rolling back to him, but he's got enough on it. And it is good. And on third down and four at the 27-yard line. And Dennis Franklin slides down the line. Pitches that ball outside to Bell. Bell gets around the corner. He's exciting. He goes to the 39-yard line. 
Look at the total yardage by Michigan to the opponents for the year. I'll tell you something about their defense. Third down and six from the 44. Michigan four out of five in converting third down plays. Franklin back to throw. He gets it over the middle and is intercepted. Picked off by Bruce Elia. And Elia brings the ball back to the Michigan 44-yard line. Let's see if Ohio State can cash it in from the Michigan 44. It's Griffin. He's really popped. See, Strinko makes a nice move up into the line, then comes laterally, goes in between those two blocks, and then he really pops him like you're supposed to hit him. Gets that head in there and lifts him a little bit, knocks him back. Second down and 10, Ohio State, Michigan 44. Green gives to Griffin again. Griffin breaks a tackle. He breaks two tackles, and he goes down to the Michigan 38-yard line. Archie Griffin is starting slowly in this game. But what he accomplished at only 5'9", 180 pounds is astounding. He started at tailback all four years and started four consecutive Rose Bowl games. He was the first running back to lead the Big Ten in rushing three straight years and was a three-time All-American, along with being the only two-time Heisman Trophy winner. Gain six yards, third down, four. Griffin again, outside, first down. Takes it down to the Michigan 25-yard line. First down. Accumulating numbers again today. Griffin carries one more time. He's inside the 20 down to the 17-yard line. Cornelius Green keeping the ball. No place to go. Woody Hayes made it fourth down and four at the Michigan 19. got to figure Griffin. He's got it. He's got the first down. Archie Griffin goes to the 11-yard line. Now that's gutsy. You got to love that. It is third down. The ball is just inside the 8-yard line of Michigan. Cornelius Green from the 15. Bashnagel gets another bad snap but gets it down. The kick is up and it is good. Franklin still got it. Gets around the corner. He got that hip pointer, incidentally, in that 16-13 loss to Michigan State. Here's Dennis Franklin getting around the corner again. The football is at the 34-yard line of Ohio State. Mike Lentry is in to try a field goal from the 41-yard line. That's a 51-yard field goal. Will he try for it against a 15, 20 mile an hour win? Yep. It has absolutely no chance. The ball skitters for Ohio State. 45 ticks remaining on the clock in the first half. Griffin. Hit at the line of scrimmage, slides away, and gets it across the 30 to the 32 yard line and a first down for Ohio State. Clock is running, 35 seconds. Cornelius Green fakes the pass, keeps it. Tries to break it outside and gets it up across the 40 to the 42. He'll be a little bit short of his first down. It is second down. Very short yardage for the first down from the 42. Green turns it inside, gets his first down. And the clock now stopped as the chains are moved with 21 seconds to play in the first half. Michigan leading 10 to 6 over Ohio State. Green back wants to throw, does get it off, goes to the sideline. Pass good to Hazel. He's down at the 26-yard line of Michigan. Ten seconds to play, 25-yard gain. I would imagine they'll run that ball to the left over here, give it to Griffin off tackle left, try to get it right in the middle of the goal post. First down at the Michigan 26. Oh, no. Griffin, Griffin goes instead of the left to the right. I, I find it very hard to fault Archie Griffin for anything. <laughs> I don't blame you, Keith. 43-yard effort. High. He hooked it all right. He got it. Kicking off will be Stladeni for Ohio State. Tom Stladeni out of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Same place that the Michigan center Dennis Franks comes from. And he got all of it that time. On second down and seven, Franklin pitches the ball to Bell. Sweep it left. Cuts it back against the green. And he gets it up to the 27, 28-yard line. 
Early in the 1973 season, Woody Hayes moved Ely at a fullback from linebacker, where he led the Buckeyes with 14 touchdowns. In 1974, he moved back to linebacker. But Gordon Bell has now passed 100 yards. He has carried 19 times and gained 102 yards. He is the leading ball carrier in this game. He has gained more yardage than Archie Griffin so far. Archie has 89 yards and 17 carries. On third down and two yards to go, Franklin gives to Bell. Bell trying to get outside. He can't do it. Great defensive flow. This is the second punt in the ball game. Last year, they punted 12 times in this ball game. I kind of get the feeling at the moment that Ohio State is the one that's really breathing fire. But we'll see. As we begin the second half. Great pressure on the punter. Anderson, John Anderson gets it off. A short kick. It goes to Bashnagel. And Bashnagel brings it back across midfield. First down at the Michigan 48-yard line. They go to Griffin, and he is nailed. Here they go. Third down, five from the 44. Green to throw. Getting pressure. Gets away from Gillick. He gets the first down. Turns it outside and runs out of bounds. Green on third down. A little more than 10 tries to get out of it. He picked up yardage all right down to about the 27-yard line before Carl Russ brings him down for Michigan, but he is short of the first down. He's kicked three of them. He's going for his fourth, and it's a 45-yard effort with a wind at his back. He's got enough on it. It's good. He's four for four. For Ohio State against Illinois back in 1966. Here comes Michigan now from the 20 as Dennis Franklin wants to put it up. Runs out of there. And we've got a Buckeye down, shaken up on the play. That's number 42. It's Arnie Jones, a linebacker, who was coming from the other side, and he and Cusick got in there, and Arnie ran into something hard. Let's see if we can figure out how he got hurt. First contact. Then he takes second contact. He took a pretty good pop right there from at number 74, Kirk Lewis, knocked him down, and then he goes down a second time. And probably twisted a leg. Looked like he might have twisted a leg. It's a good thing that they got rid of that old high-low combination block. Far too many injuries resulted. The third quarter is a remarkable story for both these teams. And Franklin to throw. Under pressure. Cannot go. Ohio State's defense, led by Jim Cope, forces Franklin out of the pocket. And they bring him down at the line of scrimmage. And now Michigan will have to punt the football. Second and nine. This time it goes to Bashnagel. Bashnagel on the counter. The wingback coming inside. Gets it to the 47-yard line and a first down. For Ohio State, he gains 16 yards. Ryan Bashnagel was a third-round draft pick by the Bears in 1976. When you look at his statistics, you wonder why, because in 1974 he only had 37 catches for three touchdowns, and in 1975 he only had 15 catches for one TD. But alas, it was a totally different game back then compared to now. It is second down and six from the Michigan 49. Johnson. Fumble! Michigan's got it! Tim Davis, number 56, trailing the play from his middle guard position, pounced on the football. And nine from the 46. And Franklin's going to put it up. Passes away to the sideline. The pass is complete to Jim Smith, and he's got a first down. Watch number 67 there in your picture, Steve King, as he suffers a left leg injury. Now watch Cusick, number 71, who's a 250-pound weightlifter. He bench presses something around 500 pounds. Powerful man. King held him long enough, and then Cusick just hammered right over the top of him. And okay, I'm going to try and dispel the myth about how each subsequent generation of football players are bigger and faster than the preceding one. Number 71, Pete Cusick, bench-pressed about 500 pounds in 1974. Now it's almost 50 years later, so why aren't players benching 750 pounds or more? The truth is, is that some players back then were just as strong as the ones today. It's just that weightlifting wasn't as pronounced as it was a few years after this game. And you can see from the numbers there that Dennis Franklin has not had a great day, except for the touchdown pass that went to Gil Chapman, worked for 42 yards early in the game. They go to Bell, and Bell, cutting it up the middle, is dropped 
just short of the 40 yard line by Bruce Elia. Story on green so far in the game. Back to throw out of his end zone. They almost get him. Gets the ball away. Intended for Bashnagel. And it's incomplete. And the Ohio State bench screams for an interference call and they don't get it. Who has averaged 45 and a half yards per punt. Coming into this, this ball game for the season will have the wind at his back. Gets it off and it's a beauty. Oh, is it a dandy. It goes all the way back to the 34-yard line. Dave Brown's coming back with it. A little bit. 58-yard punt. Steve Meyer. This is the preceding play. See, now watch Myers. He gets into his man and he raises up, keeps that leverage, stays tight, and that's just a great play. <laughs> just They're playing right for the keeps. Drove him right in the ground, didn't he? <laughs> it's second down. Four yards to go from the 47th for Michigan. From As Ohio State leads 12-10, it is third down and three yards to go for Michigan. The ball at their own 43-yard line. Franklin keeps it. Turns the corner. He's got his first down. Look at the third quarter statistics. Well, the score tells you just as much as those numbers tell you. It is a very even football game. Gives to Gordon Bell the tailback. And Bell has his legs taken from under him by Bruce Elia, linebacker who came firing in. As Elia, he reads the play and plugs. Now, this is uh, what Ohio State's going to have to do. They're going to have to get in there and stop. Michigan now, not let him get in position for a field goal. Elia, four tackles, 11 assists, and one interception so far today. Third down and seven yards to go. The pass is intercepted fly. by Colsey. All right, watch it here. As Smith, Jim Smith, the intended receiver, comes out, cuts to the sidelines on the out pattern. Now watch Colsey time it. It is third down and 18 yards to go. For Ohio State. Green on a roll left. Not going to put it up. Bell now. 25 carries, 109 yards. He's the leading ball carrier in the game. And we have Lytle in at the tailback position, but it is Chuck Heater, the fullback, breaking it over the right side. Rob Lytle, first down. Franklin. Kusick clobbered him. Third down and 12 from the 41. Franklin's going to put it up. Goes with it to the sidelines to Lytle. Threw it behind him. This is actually on the 48. It's a 58-yard effort. And it is short by about 10 yards. The record is Ray Guy of Southern Mississippi, 61 yards. Third down and eight from the 41. And give it to Bashnagel. Cutting back on the counter, and the wingback gets... Maybe two yards and that's all. And so Michigan holds them. It'll be fourth down. And Ohio State will have to kick it. Yeah. Will throw it. Pass going deep for Chapman. Too long. Incomplete. Number 71. Uh, he really is playing football. That's a great football player. He is making Franklin aware of his presence. It is third down and 10 for Michigan at their 30-yard line. Trailing by two points in two minutes and 50 seconds to play. Franklin is down. Arnie Jones and Pete Cusick and Nick Bonamisi all are in there. Green rolling, caught, dropped for a loss. Skladany, the punter, in now. Dave Brown is deep. Big rush. No roughing. Fair catch. Michigan has the ball. First down at the Wolverines. 47-yard line. Into the wind. Sladaney got only 30 yards on the kick. And 57 seconds to play in the game. All right, Michigan's last chance. Their 47-yard line. 57 seconds to play. Two timeouts remaining. Franklin puts it up. Throws for Smith. He's got it at the 31-yard line of Ohio State. Two seconds to play. 
they took the slot back and brought him inside and then brought Smith in right almost just as a trail kind of pattern. Of it. Ohio State leads by only two. Franklin goes to the sideline, stops the clock. Second down and ten. Franklin gives it to Lytle. He breaks it over the middle. He's down to the 22-yard line. They give the ball to Lytle, the tailback. He blows it over the right side. He goes to the 16-yard line. Once again, the pressure is apparently coming down on the shoulders of Mike Lantry, the Michigan field goal kicker. Remember that twice in the last five minutes a year ago, Lantry missed field goals that would have won the ball game for Michigan and sent them to the Rose Bowl. Remember that he hasn't had a great year this year. Before last week, he was four for 13 on the year, and the Michigan coaches were worried about his kicking. Remember that he's missed his last two attempts today. Both of them were long ones. It will be a 33-yard try as Mike Lantry has come on. He will kick out of the hold of Tom Drake. He's a remarkable story. He is from Oxford, Michigan. He was a walk-on. He just showed up one day and said, Coach, I want to play football for you. He, right now, might very well write his name indelibly in Michigan football history, one of the richest collegiate history books of them all. He is a left-footed kicker. He is a senior. He has a 37-yarder. This one is from 33 yards. The wind is at his back. Only 18 seconds to play in the ball game. The placement is good. The kick, it is up. It is no good. That was all she wrote. Ohio State 12, Michigan 10. Check out my playlist for other exciting college football games. And as always... Thank you for watching.